time for some sports news now. Here's Charles Aruka. Many thanks, Millicent, and welcome to Sports News. The Super Falcons have received a major boost ahead of Saturday's African Women's Cup of Nations final against Banyana Banyana of South Africa. The president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amaju Penik, who visited the team at lunchtime today, promised that each player will get $10,000, uh, $10, that's 3.6 million naira, as much bonus if they beat South Africa and retain the African Women's Cup of Nations title. The head of delegation, Aisha Falode, and captains of the team, Rita Chikwelu and Onamebi, believe the announcement will give the girls the extra boost to win the trophy. Meanwhile, Nigeria Super Eagles have retained the 44th position in the monthly ranking of football playing nations by FIFA and are still the fourth best team in Africa. The Teranga Lions of Senegal are top, followed by Tunisia and Morocco, while the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ghana, Cameroon, Egypt, Burkina Faso and Mali make up the rest of the continent's top ten. Belgium, France, Croatia and England are still the top five footballing nations in the rankings. Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal climbed to sixth place, while Uruguay are now seventh. Switzerland, Spain and Denmark are the other nations that make up the rankings. In boxing, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder's final news conference descended into chaos as they clashed on stage before their heavyweight bout in Los Angeles on Saturday. A packed room watched the verbal jousting and after Fury's words saw Wilder grow visibly irate, the pair began pushing during a face-off. Their teams got involved, prompting 60 seconds of pure mayhem. Less than 30 hours from now, the real fight in the ring will be on. But that's it on Sports News. And it's back to Millicent with the rest of the news at 10. Thanks, Charles. On the international scene, Zimbabwean opposition supporters have been protesting a deepening economic crisis, calling for a transitional government to run the country following disputed presidential elections this year. Opposition candidate in the election, Nelson Chamisa, told a crowd of supporters that Zimbabweans had not expected living conditions to deteriorate after the ousting of former leader Robert Mugabe last year. It's the first protest since the deadly crackdown on his supporters after the pause. Chamisa suggested a transitional government would help navigate the country through the economic crisis. U.S. President Donald Trump has denied working on a Trump Organization real estate project in Moscow. His comments come as his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, admitted lying to U.S. lawmakers about the project they had pursued until June 2016 during the presidential campaign. Trump told reporters outside the White House he had decided not to build in Moscow, although he did not specify when he made that decision. The president has sought to distance himself from Cohen despite its long relation, their long relationship. Back in August, Cohen testified that Trump directed him to commit a crime by arranging payments to silence two women before the 2016 election who said they had affairs with Trump. The president has since denied this. He put out a statement talking about a project which was essentially, I guess, more or less of an option that we were looking at in Moscow. Everybody knew about it. It was written about in newspapers. It was a well-known project. It was during uh, the early part of 16, and I guess even before that. It lasted a short period of time. I didn't do the project. I decided not to do the project, so I didn't do it. So we're not talking about doing a project. We're talking about not doing a project. U.S. President Donald Trump. And the main news again. The leadership of the People's Democratic Party today asked the INEC chairman and the Inspector General of Police to resign their positions before the 2019 general elections. They claimed the electoral umpire lacked the capacity to conduct the polls and accused the police chief of bias in favour of the ruling party. Also today, the National Peace Committee presented a draft agreement of the peace accord to be signed by political parties ahead of the 2019 general elections. Plus, U.S. President, as you just heard, 
Donald Trump today, denied working on a Trump Organization real estate project in Moscow. This is after his former lawyer admitted lying to lawmakers about the project. And that's News at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. Have a good night. Thank you.